Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Panasonic S5 and the Sony A7. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Panasonic S5 and the Sony A7 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 14th of August 2020 and the 22nd of January 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Panasonic S5. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A7. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Panasonic S5 and the Sony A7. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Panasonic S5. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A7. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Panasonic S5. I really love this camera, it's the best at the 2 minus 2.5 United States dollar price point and is great for narrative filmmaking, travel, vlogging, and general photography. However, my new camera package didn't come with ceiling and the lens caps were scratched, which was disappointing. Despite that, the camera and lens worked fantastic. I may reorder or wait for a successor, but it's still a wonderful camera. I have been using the S5 camera for at least two years and have found it to have excellent video quality and IBIS. The battery life is good, but the battery life indicator could use improvement. The autofocus can hunt in low light, and the built-in sound preamps are decent, but external recorders are cleaner. When taking pictures, the D850 is clearly better. I also have some issues with exposure drift on static objects, and the USB-C port not working off external power when recording. Overall, I find it to be a good camera for video with some room for improvement in certain areas. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A7. I chose the Sony A7 for its great sensor, compact body, and reasonable price. The image quality exceeded my expectations, but I found the handling and build quality to be frustrating. The kit lens had issues with corner sharpness and purple fringing. Overall, the value for image quality in 2017 made it worth the annoyances. I absolutely love this camera. The LCD display, shutter sound, and lack of onboard flash don't bother me at all. I rented different lenses and had a great experience, especially with the Zeiss 35mm 2.8 lens. The autofocus can be a bit sluggish in lower light, and I find the spot focus controls a bit cumbersome. The manual was not very helpful, so I turned to YouTube for guidance. I also bought some accessories, like a battery grip, and a smaller camera bag, to go with my new camera. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Panasonic S5. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Sony A7. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. 